Kia ora everyone, so this is uh, one of my first strategies for a wee while. Um, this strategy is stage 7 multiplication division and in this video we'll be learning how to use multiple strategies to solve multiplication division problems at stage 7. Okay, so if we take a problem like 72 divided by 4, um, we can see that it requires us to use multiple strategies to solve it. First of all, if you take a look at the division sign, Okay, normally that tells us that we need to reverse this problem, especially when the numbers are quite large. Okay, so what we do when we reverse it, okay, we start with the smallest number, okay, and then we just call it add times square equals, which is the part in the middle, um, and then we end with the largest number. This will give us an equation that makes sense. It's also one of the equations in the family of facts. So 72 divided by 4 reversed is equal to 4 times something is equal to 72. Okay, now we can revert back to our stage 6 strategies to solve these ones. One of our first ones would be the place value partitioning. So if we take 4 times 10 is equal to 40. So then we know that we need to add 32 more. And if we know our times tables, 4 times 8 is equal to 32. Okay, we add the two numbers together, 10 plus 8, that equals 18. Another way to solve it would be to use rounding and compensating. Okay, so if we did 4 times 10 before, that went underneath 72, so this time we want to do a tidy number above 72. So we'll do 4 times 20 is equal to 80. Okay, and then we need to think about how many groups of 4 we need to take off. So there's Sorry, I'll take the 80. So there's 8 we need to take off. So 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 72 plus 8 is equal to 80. 20 minus 2, subtracting the 2, is equal to 18. And one of the last strategies that we can use is our doubling and halving. Okay, if we know our basic facts, um, we may not know 4 times something is equal to 72, but we may know that 8 times 9 is equal to 72. Okay, so if we look at the patterns, if we halve, divide by 2 there, just like our normal doubling and halving, we must do the opposite to the other side. So we must do 9 times 2, which is equal to 18. Okay, and that was stage 7 uh, multiple strategies. You can see that we've used doubling and halving there. We use rounding and compensating in this one. We use place value partitioning. And we use reversibility to solve these problems for stage 7. Thank you for watching.